we are discussing about classical ideal gas in micro canonical ensemble so, micro canonical ensemble is an application of classical ideal gas so we are considering an isolated system consisting of n non interacting particles in three dimensional space which is described by the micro canonical ensemble parameters n v e and a so here all particles are confined in the volume V. Practically the, the energy varies from E minus delta by 2 to E plus delta by 2. So the Hamiltonian varies from E minus delta by 2 to E plus delta by 2. Where that is P i square by 2. So here the total volume is given by omega is equal to v raised to n integral dp raised to 3 n where v raised to n is dq raised to 3 n so since hamiltonian varies from e minus delta by 2 t plus delta by 2 we can write the momentum varies from root 2 m e minus delta by 2 to 2 m e plus delta by 2 so the volume can be written as v raised to n integral from root to 2 m e minus delta by 2 to root to e plus delta by 2 dp raised to 3 n. So the volume of the hypercell is given by the surface area of hypersphere of mean radius into the thickness of the hypercell. So the thickness of the hypercell is given by root to 2 m e plus delta v2 minus root 2 m e minus delta v2 which is the outer radius minus inner radius which is given by root 2 m e into delta v2 e and the surface area of hypersphere is given by an equation sn of r equal to 2 pi raised to n by 2 r raised to n minus 1 by n by 2 minus 1 factor where the r is the mean radius in this case it is root 2 m e and we, we are considering n as 3 n therefore surface area is 2 pi raised to 3 n by 2 2 m e raised to 3 n minus 1 by 2 by 3 n by 2 minus 1 factorial so the volume of the hypercell in momentum space which is equal to 2 pi raised to 3 n by 2 and 2 m e raised to 3 n minus 1 by 3 n by 2 minus 1 factorial into root 2 m e into delta by 2 e. Therefore, the total volume is equal to which is v raised to n v raised to n into 2 pi raised to 3 n by 2 and 2 m e raised to 3 n minus 1 by 2 by 3 n minus by 2 minus 1 factor into root 2 m e into delta by 2 e so the so let's find out the total number of possible micro state which is omega is equal to 1 by h raised to 3 n integral dq raised to 3 n dp raised to 3 n which is substituting we get is equal to e raised to n by h raised to 3 n into 2 pi raised to 3 n by 2 2 m e raised to 3 n minus 1 by 2 by 3 n by 2 minus 1 factorial into root 2 m e into delta by 2 e which is equal to v raised to n by h raised to 3 n delta by 2 e into 2 m e pi or raised to 3 n by 2 by 3 n by 2 minus 1 factor e 2 m e pi or mich or bracket me like either and we can cancel 2 me raised to minus 1 by 2 and 2 me raised to 1 by 2 so here since the n is very large we can replace 3 n by 2 minus 1 by 3 n by 2 therefore omega is equal to v n by h raised to 3 n delta by e into 2 m e by raised to 3 n by 2 by 3 n by 2 factorial so log omega is given by log v raised to n by h raised to 3 n 2 m e pi all raised to 3 n by 2 by 3 n by 2 factorial plus log 
delta by a so it is log delta y is very small and it can be neglected the log omega is given by log v raised to n by h raised to 3 n 2 m e pi or raised to 3 n by 2 by 3 n by 2 factorial so you can calculate the entropy by Boltzmann relation which is s equal to k log omega is equal to k log v raised to n by h raised to 3 n into 2 m e pi raised to 3 n by 2 by 3 n by 2 factorial is equal to k log v raised to n into 2 pi m e by h square whole raised to 3 n by 2 minus k log 3 n by 2 factorial and now 3 n by 2 factorial so we know the sterling approximation which is log n factorial is equal to n log n minus n so is equal to n k log v plus 3 n k by 2 log 2 pi m e by h square sterling approximation would occur then which is equal to minus 3 n k by 2 log 3 n by 2 plus 3 n k by 2 and stress is given by n k log v plus 3 n k by 2 into 1 plus log 4 pi m e by 3 n h square so we can rearrange this equation to get the internal energy so 3 nk by 2 right side like under then s minus 3 nk by 2 equal to nk log v plus 3 nk by 2 into log 4 pi m e 3 n h square which is equal to nk into log v into 4 pi m e by 3 n h square all raised to 3 by 2 so the exponent and the cell exponential we get and the rearranging we get e is equal to 3 n h square by 4 pi m b or raised to 2 by 3 and the exponential of 2 s by 3 n k minus 1 and the first law of thermodynamics we know dq is equal to d e plus p d v or dq is equal to t d s then t d s is equal to d e plus p d v we can write t is equal to dou e by dou s with the constant v and the constant n and dou e by dou s is given by 3 n h square 4 pi m v or ratio 3 by 3 2 by 3 exponential 2 s by 3 n k minus 1 into 2 by 3 n k and hence dou e by dou s equal to Okay, this term is E itself, then to E by dou is equal to 2 E by 3 n k, so T is equal to 2 E by 3 n k, and we can write E is equal to 3 by 2 n k t, this is the partition theorem, we already know from the kinetic theory, where the total energy is distributed in equally in each degree of freedom. And we can write the P pressure as minus dou e by dou v at constant s and the constant n then dou e by dou v is equal to 3 n h square by 4 pi m into minus 2 by 3 into 1 by v raised to 5 by 3 the exponential of 2 s by 3 n k minus 1 then dou e by dou v is equal to 2 by 3 into p by p so p is equal to 2 e by 3 v E can be replaced by 3 by 2 nkt then P is equal to nkt by V is equal to PV is equal to nkt so for a system containing n mode of particles n equal to n into a where n is the Avogadro's address number then PV is equal to n into n a k t is equal to PV is equal to n r t this is the ideal gas equation Uh, then now we can calculate the specific heat capacity the constant volume cv is given by dou e by dou t at the constant v then dou by dou t of e is 3 by 2 nkt then dou by dou t of 3 by 2 nkt is equal to 3 by 2 nk which is equal to 3 by 2 nr the specific heat capacity at the constant pressure is cp is equal to dou q by dou t q is equal to e plus pv then it is dou by dou t of 
e plus p v is equal to dou e by dou t plus dou by dou t of p v and e is equal to 3 by 2 n k t then dou by dou t of 3 by 2 n k t plus dou by dou t of p v is equal to n k t therefore dou by dou t of n k t is equal to 3 by 2 n k plus n k is equal to 5 by 2 n k so we have calculated the specific heat capacity at constant pressure, constant volume, and internal energy of the classical ideal gas in the answer.